Paul, the funeral of 17 Nigerian soldiers that were killed in Delta State are, is underway uh, in about 30 minutes. So we will be crossing live now to Abuja, where Arise correspondent Ferdinand Duroha joins me now. Thank you for uh, joining me, Ferdinand. Mm. All right, Ferdinand. Can Thank you so much. How are we? Well, we are yeah, I just want to get some information on the preparations that have been yeah. going into making this uh, ceremony happen today. Okay, thank you so much. Well, don't forget that um, last week the president uh, did say that there was going to be a state barrier, and here we are at a military cemetery here in Abuja for the interment. And um, it is no news, uh, the disastrous uh, incident that happened about uh, 16 days ago. And while questions have been asked as regards uh, what really happened, there is need for us to give a befitting hero's burial to those uh, 17 soldiers who did die. And um, just a couple of minutes ago, well, we did see the ambulances uh, coming with the you know, uh, remains, and then also, just before then, the family members and the nest of kings did arrive. Now it's a procession. We expect that it's going to start at about uh, 4 p.m. Well, just about uh, sundown. And um, talking about some of the dignitaries that is expected. Well, we know definitely, or we hear that the president, who is also the commander in chief of the armed forces, uh, Abul Ahmed Tunumbu, will be here himself. He wants to do that honor. He wants to use this as an opportunity to rally the troops, uh, galvanize the troops, uh, you know, so that um, they will definitely know what this means to Nigerians. Well, we also hear that, um, you know, some of, some members of his cabinet will also be here. Well, precisely the Minister of uh, Defense and the Minister of State for Defense. And um, we also hear that about three state governors, the governors of Delta, the governors of Bayosa, and also the, the governor of um, uh, Kano State, yes, will also be here. Well, those are the dignitaries that we know about. Immediately they begin to arrive, we definitely would um, uh, patch in those live pictures. And it's certainly a solemn ceremony and will be uh, quite a moment for the nation to watch. Can you give me the mood on ground right now, even though I, you said it doesn't start till four? We see some soldiers in the background and of course you said the ambulances were arriving. What's, what's the mood on ground? Well, Hawaii, it's very sober, very, very sober. Lots of questions are being asked. But um, before we go into all that, well, when you look around, you see that um, some, some last minute preparations are indeed, you know, taking place. Now, we know that, as usual, with rituals for state funerals, especially military burials, you know, there's going to be you know, the firing of the volleys, there's going to be the laying of reeds, and uh, also there will be an opportunity for the guest of honor, who is the president, like we've said earlier, there's going to be an opportunity for him to make a statement, and I'm sure that he will use this opportunity to make a very, very strong statement. You will agree with me that um, the, the country has witnessed some form of uh, some resurgence in terms of uh, uh, insecurity this year from kidnappings to ambushing of military personnel and then not forgetting the abduction, mass abductions uh, in school. The last time we were here, if you want to remember, I think it was about um, uh, June, July last year when you know we had that burial, just close to 100 days into the administration when some members of the armed forces were ambushed in Niger state and uh, uh, you know in a process of uh, in a process of uh, some sort of a response well there was that crash and um, you know we were here burying around 20 something of them and this is where we are again these personnel these soldiers all lost in the war against insurgency that's exactly what it is all about either people taking arms against the state or you know through whatever it was in Oklahoma, it is definitely clear that Nigeria, as we see it, you know, Nigerians are not safe and these soldiers doing everything possible, including laying down their lives. And so that's the mood. There will be a time for people, for perhaps one or two sober reflections, the laying of reeds, the volleys, and uh, some of the other traditional uh, you know, activities that does take, place, does take place in a military funeral. And I'm sure we will continue to cover this as the events uh, unfold. Thank you so much, uh, 
Ferdinand for joining me and for updating our viewers on this situation. Thank you.